Most patients with MDS, basically you can say all of them, more than 90% of them are anemic. More than half of them, even maybe more, require blood transfusions over the years. So obviously anemia is one of the key players in MDS. And yes, indeed, it also has impact on the prolongation, on the, on the life, on the life uh, uh, overall survival. Now, uh, there are several reasons, but the main, as we know more and more, the main reason for the anemia is what we call ineffective erythropoiesis. In simple words, the production of red blood cells is going wrong. There are some problems. We are going to have a seminar symposium which will be devoted to that uh, later on in this meeting. But uh, just saying briefly, there are several steps in which the erythropoiesis is, uh, is impaired. Uh, it is also, it is, if I have to summarize, I would say that there is an increased proliferation and the, also the degradation is defective. Obviously, uh, these two processes are controlled by many cytokines, many factors, and uh, still there is a room to be investigated, but this has been, you know, uh, a field that has been investigated for more than two, three decades. And here also we are finding targets that can be uh, relevant for treatment. Uh, the first, which was introduced more than two decades ago and has been quite effective, is the erythropoietin or the other, other agents which are called today ESA, erythroid stimulating agents. But as we move on, we understand, number one, that it doesn't work, does not work in everybody. We are talking about 50-60% response rate. So there is almost half of the patients that do not respond. And even in those who do respond, uh, they lose the response in most of the cases on the average after two years. So there is a room for other agents. And indeed, there are some other targets such as the GDF and the and the SMAD2 and other uh, agents, uh, other targets that are being discovered. And Luspatercept, for example, is one of the agents that are now, uh, I, w I wanted to say, being in trials, but some of the trials completed. Other people, other patients are already receiving it with kind of success, quite an impressive success. Other agents such as Ruxadostat are on the way as well. And I guess that we will see in the next three, four, five years, we will see several agents which are supposed to treat the anemia. I don't know if they have any impact on survival, but definitely some of them, maybe all of them will have impact on anemia. And again, if I have to predict, I would predict that in several years, we will have a cocktail of several agents targeting together the anemia and achieving success of 90% or more, much more than we have today. So this is briefly, you know, the erythropoiesis and the dyserythropoiesis, which is a characteristic feature of most of patients with MDS.